Welcome to Beaded Doilies by Shell. In this video, we are continuing the video word chart for the right angle weave. I am using my pattern Bell for this project. Now, in the last video, my string was came to be too short, so I need to add a new string. When adding a new string, you want to make sure to enter where your string is exiting. So we'll take our new string and we will enter into the same bead that our um, last string is exiting from, bring through about four inches, and then we will secure it. Now I like to do a kind of figure eight, so I go up and over, and I call this one the center bead, and I like to do three of those. So we'll go up again, And then back. That's the second center bead. And this is our third one. And then we head back exactly the direction we came from. I can get my string to go through the bead. Come on. There it goes. That's the first one going, or yeah, first one going back. And that's Second one going back. And then the third one. Now when we clip off, we want to make sure that we're clipping the correct string. And now that we have our new string secure and it is exiting exactly where our old string is exiting, we now shall secure our old string. I'm going to go down a little further because I had a little trouble with the previous, so I want to be a little further away from it. So now we will do our figure eight. So that's our first center here. Second center. And then our third. And now we'll head back the way we came. First returning center. Second, I let the string get a little too small. A little hard to work with. Don't think I'm gonna be able to do that third one. Yeah, I don't have enough, but that's okay. It is um, secure enough. I'm going to now clip off. Like I said before, always make sure you're clipping off the correct strings. So you don't lose your string. And now we have secured our string and we are ready to continue. So we will continue adding. Our string is coming out of the top of the current row. 
and we need to figure out where we are, so we want to count the side beads. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we know we're doing seven, which is inside this, which is two Bs. So we need to add two B colors. We let them drop down. And then we go to the side and top bead. And then we go to the two bead we just added plus the next side bead. Now our string is coming out the side of the previous row. And we are still here, so we're going to add two more B colors. Let them drop down. And then we'll go to the top and the side bead. And we go through the first bead we added, which is our new top bead. Now I'm going to do a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're adding the last set of double B. drop down. Then we'll go to the side bead and the top bead. Go through the two beads we just added plus the next side bead. Our strings coming out of the side of the previous row, and we're ready to add a C and a B. Let them drop down. And then we'll go through the top and the side bead. And then we'll go through the first bead we added, which is the new top bead. And now the next two will both be A color. So our B string is coming out the top of the current row. 
we'll add our two A colors. Let them drop down. And we'll go through the side bead and top bead. Strings getting a little tangly on me. I can't get it to straighten out a little. All right. Now we want to go through the two beads we just added plus the side bead. string is coming out of the side bead of our previous row and we're going to add two A's and we'll let them drop down then we'll go to the top and side bead go through the first bead we added which is our new top bead and there we're going to stop for this video and in the next one we will do the last set for row 7 and um, I will talk to you a little bit about that and I hope to see you there